You know, that's a really delicate question. Like, I did a lot of shooting when I was in Africa, and I, I did never feel like I could do anything with the footage because it felt too colonizing. Like, it felt like too much about repeating uh, colonial dynamics that were really um, uh, appalling. <laughs> and um, and I, I, I don't really know what I'm going to take back from this. From this. Uh, trip, you know, I, I, I can feel already like a lot of writing, like I know when I get on the plane to go back I'm going to write a lot, and I, and I don't know exactly what that's going to be, but I think it's kind of like just letting stuff build right now, and, and you know, of course I, I would love to come back here, but, but maybe not, you know, maybe not with the idea of, of of making something. I think I would rather see work that's made here by people from here than I would rather see work by myself or someone like myself who comes here from out, outside. Or at least maybe like working in collaboration with a community or working in collaboration with, with artists from here. I think that would be more productive than kind of you know, an outsider is always going to make a tourist video. That's my impression. They're always going to come in and they're going to see things very superficially. They won't understand the deep structures of things. And they'll tend to make mistakes, I think. Yeah, they'll make assumptions and they'll make mistakes. Like when I was in, I was in a six-month residency in Rome and there was a German artist there at the show I saw. And the work that he made was he made like a little coliseum that he carved out of marble, and a little pantheon, and a little, like, he made all this, like, Italian art, and I thought, that is not what I want to do. Like, that's what I want to avoid. Is, I think that's a real mistake. Anyway, so, no disrespect, I think you guys have a great culture here, but I think you should be representing yourselves. I think most of the people here will agree with me that it's a very considerate answer that you did, because Stereotypically, I could imagine if you were British or American, you would answer that for me. Thank you. No problem. Fine. Um, okay, going on to the technicality. Um, do you have a preferred filming medium? And, and if you have several, what, how do you choose based on their merits? Um, I, I, I hate to admit it, but I think I do prefer film. And um, I think that's a, a bitter pill to swallow as someone who is identified as a video artist. But I think I really um, do like the look of Super 8 and 16mm. Um, uh, and I also um, have worked with still photography. And still photography, like making sort of animated works with still photos. I really like the look of still photography as well. Uh, the newest piece was shot with a, a, a Canon 5D, which really gives like a look that's a lot like 16 millimeter or 35 millimeter. And I'm really, really excited about the possibilities of doing a new project that would look a lot like 35. Um, I like video. I, I like the. I, I will always, always, always love the immediacy of video and the, the the sound quality of video, and that's why I always finish and present stuff on on video. And um, there's a kind of responsiveness that you have with, with, with video that's amazing. So, so um, like the new things I'm thinking of working with, like the, the two new things I'd like to do is one with the 5D that would be like a full HD look like 35 millimeter project. And the other one would be an iPhone video. Like I just, I like being able to pull out my iPhone and just film something you see and that you just really respond to and just kind of make it something that's made out of these small moments. You know, like, I, one of the things I was filming was like, there was a, a door and air was coming through and it was kind of whistling and by moving the door back and forth, I can modulate the sound. Or I filmed my, my, my partner's nieces and nephews filming in the car, on, or they were sleeping in the car on the way back from a lake. And I filmed like some, danger plastic banners like flapping in the wind so you know I think it'll all go together somehow but it'll kind of be about these little these little moments of, of presence when you're when you're kind of really looking at something really seeing something. Yeah. Great. And um, could you talk a bit more about the Yeah, 
Yeah, I think um, I have a fairly long uh, relationship with the uh, Images Festival um, for a few years off and on they would uh, show my work and I think in 98 I won uh, a fairly substantial prize at the festival, at the Telefilm Canada Prize for Time Passes which was shown here today and um, and then I don't know I, I, I guess they I guess Pablo, was it Pablo or was it Leslie? Somebody called me up and they said, we'd like to do this retrospective of your work, and this was two years ago. And of course I was, I was really, really thrilled uh, because it's, you know, somewhat rare that as an artist you get to show like a whole program of your, your work. And uh, they also showed one of my installation works because I do gallery multi-screen works that are shown in galleries as well. And it was a new piece, so again, I was completely over the moon about that. And um, I, uh, yeah, the, uh, we did the show two years ago, and then um, they got in contact with me this summer and said, would you like to participate in the, uh, the Asia tour? And, and I was like, yeah, of course, because this is a part of the world. I've always wanted to see, and that I've, I've never been to, so it, it was really um, thrilling. Yeah, and I have to say this has really been a, a life-changing experience until now. Yeah. All right, thank you for that. Thanks, you no know, problem. Okay. I also teach, and I also have a long involvement with galleries, art historian galleries in Canada. So if you have questions about those things too, I can answer that. Well, since being here, have you have you sort of seen 
galleries or artists run spaces apart, apart from this one? You know, is this a resource space? And what do you think of them? Um, I haven't seen, this is the first and only space I've seen here, I'm embarrassed to say. But to my defense, I, I was sick in my hotel room all day yesterday, and I only made it to the hospital this morning. So, um, please forgive me. Um, I, uh, I, I think, I, I think space, spaces like this are great. In fact, I find this space, I find this space really inspiring. And when I was watching the first videos, I was thinking, I should start a space like this back in Montreal. This is great. But it should be, I, I would want to sell books, I think. Um, but I, but I, okay, good. But I still think, I still think uh, this is a great idea. And it was, it's really thrilling to show in a space like this that has this nice sort of hybridized identity. Thank you. So thank you to Kiel, definitely, for having such a space. <laughs> to feel somewhat better, yeah, to, yeah. to compose and Thank you. show your beautiful films for us today. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Thank you for your for your generosity. Yeah. Thank you so much. We'll have a conversation later.